YouTube, what's good? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you from coast to coast, Wave Man Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. <laughs> today's video i'm doing another reaction in this video i'm reacting to a video called i found this in my 360 waves lice but before i react to anything i need you to go press the like button now that you've done that let's get into the video yo what is up guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to get 360 waves just kidding, I'm actually gonna do a video on what I found inside of my waves. Cause as I was doing this tutorial on how to actually do it, I found a whole bunch of stuff in my waves. He said, I found a whole bunch of stuff in my waves as if he's like on a treasure hunt or something. Like what is this whole bunch of stuff? Obviously we saw the title, but yeah. So I use this to figure it out. I'm telling you, I'm glad I use this because if not all this stuff is gonna be in my hair. Yeah, stay tuned. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna find some really cool stuff inside of my waves. It's not really cool, it's actually kind of nasty and disturbing, but stay tuned. And I have this like new way of actually brushing, just doing my hair, so I'll show you guys that. How am I looking guys? Comment down below if you see the progression. I know I know the bad. progression. It's really crazy just how hair different hair straight hair, hair, hair waves look, look from coarse hair, hair waves. It's like a whole different world. That I'm focusing on, how I'm trying to get these into the 360 waves. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you really quickly what I've been doing. I've been using just a comb and a mirror obviously, and then I just work around where my crown is. So I'll start where my crown is with the tip of the comb. Wait, is he doing a swirl now? Yeah, At least that's what it looks like. Direction. At first, I thought he was gonna do a swirl, but it's like he's just going with the flow. It's not technically your crown, but it's what waivers call their crown. This area right here, the hair will go in every direction around it. So that's why you brush in the direction that it goes. But sheesh, my connections are looking really, really good over here. You can see that they're all coming together. My waves are going lower, which is exactly what I wanted. Comes with time. Now I'll show you guys over here. Back in this area over here, it does need a lot of help, but you can see how the waves are actually going this way going like down and around that's the direction i want to go now i'm gonna take it a step further and i'm going to be using this a lice comb this you can tell really by deep, really just get every hold up hair. you can tell by the way he's like his waves are going that that um his angles are clashing because you can really see like if he had more defined waves you'll see the forks would be really defined right there Another great thing is this is getting all of the product and buildup out of your hair. So if you want to get rid of your buildup, this is a great way to do it. And trust me, you guys are probably like, oh, dude, that's so disgusting. Everybody has this in their hair, all right? I haven't washed my hair in a couple of days, so that's why. But if that's the stuff he was hair, talking about, this lice? You see that stuff. Don't be, like, scared. You think you have to go to the doctor. It's, like, supernatural. All it is is dried up oils. But what this is going to do is it's just going to define... And dried up skin oils. cells. But at the same time, it's helping get rid of all of the oils that are don't want in my hair because I am about to hop in the shower but at the same time it's detangling my hair because as you notice as I'm combing this way like sheesh it's hard to get through my hair if you were combing your hair and these things were moving like little bugs which no. for everyone who doesn't know that's that would be lice but this is actually pretty cool I might just have that's a cool about what I actually found in my hair I didn't know it was going to be like this but this is just all the buildup that's a lot I do a lot of work outside so That's, I mean, that I is a lot. Tree yesterday, so it could be sawdust, could just be dust in general. 
Obviously, a majority of this is gonna be oils, just everything that you literally go through. I haven't been wearing a do rag a lot lately, which has been really nice. So my head has been uncovered. So that's another huge thing that is most likely happening. I'm just gonna go in the proper direction that I would like my hair to form. And this is just like a enhancer for when you actually go in with a comb. I mean, I had a comb and brush. But this is helping so much because it's detangling your hair and get your hair to go all the right direction. And again, guys, like brushing or combing your hair redefines your waves so much. So I'm gonna work on this side a little bit. Yeah, surprisingly, it looks like he has a lot of tangles in his hair too. No, instead I'm not going all the way back to the crown. I guess I can, it's just hard to reach. But as far as doing 360 waves, it's all about the direction. And if your hair is in the proper direction, it'd be best to wash your hair and then start pushing it in the right direction and then just constantly working at that. But you guys, I'm just gonna keep on combing. I'm gonna clean this comb out right now and see how much like actually comes out eventually after everything. But I'm just gonna keep on doing this and then I'm gonna take a shower. And that's basically what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his angles, wow, a lot of it just fell out in his hair. But yeah, I'm pretty sure his angles are clashing because something ain't adding up with his pattern. The combing sheesh, like my waves are super defined right now. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. Like I do not like the lighting that's in my bathroom right now. I am getting better lighting. I'm getting a mirror that has lighting all the way around it right now. Just, Vanity? I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, like I'm kind of disappointed on how everything looks in here. Just because of literally this lighting setup, it just, I mean, this whole setup just kind of bugs me. But the thing that sucks is like, I'm pretty tall. So like, look where the lights are. It doesn't work too well. But if you guys do know, there's mirrors that have a light all the way around it. I'm pretty sure you see Vanity. it in like a hotel or motel you went to. Probably not a motel, but a hotel. Or even if you have one of your own. It's almost like a vanity mirror, which technically it is because this is our vanity. Mm -hmm. But besides the point, we're going to deal with that later on. But I just wanted to disclaim that before I keep making these videos. It should be done very soon when I get that mirror because I definitely need it. But I am going to go in with a medium brush. I will say just real quick, if you guys can see, I really hope you can see in this lighting how actual like deep my waves are right now. Mm -hmm. And I started getting the direction going right back here. So hopefully you guys can see this right. If not, I might just have to brighten in the video. But I am gonna go in with my medium brush and then just do a little brush session. His waves could look a lot better if he got like regular haircuts instead of the fades, but So I do need a shower. I'm gonna do like some workout. I'm actually doing this like workout video that is gonna be dropping real soon. So all right, I'm gonna end the video here. Well, I'm not ending the video here, just the reaction part of the video. All right, so basically the stuff that he found in his hair was not lice. It was just build up. Basically, when you put products in your hair, it needs to eventually come out somehow. It doesn't always come out when you wash, or sometimes it can come out before you wash when you comb your hair. Also, it's not always the products that you put in your hair. Sometimes your hair produces its own oils, and those can build up on your scalp. And combing your hair is a pretty, pretty effective way to get those products out. If you use a skinny tooth comb, you'll notice that in between those teeth, you'll find some buildup of some sort, most of the time at least. So yeah, that's what he found in this comb. It wasn't lice. Like he mentioned in the video, if what is in your comb starts moving, then you should be worried because then you'll probably be, you know, they'll probably be lice, which is not good. But I already had a feeling that he didn't have lice. But yeah, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go press the like button right now. If you did not enjoy it, go leave a comment telling me what you didn't enjoy. But still press the like button. Also, make sure you go subscribe right now because more bangers are heading your way. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm Wade Man Mike. Subscribe, comment, and like. Enjoy your day.